Uh, hello, hello, no. Two seconds into the video and I've already damaged something. So I have moved three times in the past year and a half and because of that, I've not got much art up on the walls. And by much, I mean nothing. Aside from my seasonal bats, which are great. They're perfect, beautiful boys. But there is a lot of blank wall space, which is sad for the eyes. It's fall now, I need the cozies and blank walls are not cozy. They're disgusting. I have so many frames that just need to be painted. This is my emotional support pile of unfinished, unhung wall art. It is almost October, almost Halloween, and as much as I love kitschy Halloween decorations, I kind of want something with a little more year-round spookiness. Mild Halloween for all seasons. I'd like an aesthetic that is somewhere between Adam's family and Hobbit's and just smoosh it together or at least something that they both hang up in their house. The first things I want to repaint are these two diamond frames and they're super cute on their own, which is not quite what I'm looking for. Another frame I want to repaint is just this basic Halloween slogan art. In this scenario, who is calling me boo? Or am I calling someone else boo? And who am I calling boo? I don't like it. I will take your kitschy seasonal flirting and I will turn it into a tree. Now, I'm not sure if some of these frames are even meant to be painted on. I don't know. I don't know things, but I'm gonna still do it. The first step to all of this was just covering the frames with masking tape. And I don't know if this really helped or not since I am gonna be painting the frames on the smaller diamond pieces anyway, but it's gonna be fun to pull off. So, you know, I'm just enjoying the little things and then just layering and layering white paint until it starts to look right. Fortunately, this whole process is being supervised by an expert. I added in a little bit of brown paint to give it kind of an aged look, and then used a paper towel to dab it all around. Speaking of dabs, see, I told you, an expert. It took quite a few layers of paint to cover up everything, including the bigger painting, which was kind of funny because you could still see Boo. Ah, oh, that's too scary. I need to edit that out. And then the very satisfying part of pulling the tape off before doing some touch-ups and painting the diamond frames black. I was really inspired by vintage botanical art for this project. So for the two diamond paintings, I'm thinking mushrooms and moths. And for the bigger painting, maybe like a bare or gnarly apple tree. I did a very light sketch before I started painting just to make sure it was centered and would actually fit before painting it with a light gray and getting darker little by little. And then adding some shrubbery, some birds, some twisted details to the trunk. For the moth, I wish I'd sketched it first because it did kind of turn out a little bit too big for the frame compared to the others, but it still works. And same process of starting out very light and gradually getting darker with the paint. I really like the mushrooms and acorns and pineapples and... Pine cones. You know, the seasonal Halloween fruit. Pineapple. I think this one might be my favorite. I like this one too, but the, I think the yellow came out just a little bit brighter than I wanted. I think they look really nice side by side. They're not quite centered or symmetrical, but life isn't. I don't know what to tell you. And then the apple tree. This one um, <laughs> kind of had me worried halfway through because it was looking like a Winnie the Pooh illustration. But then once I started like twisting up the trunk, it grew on me. No little birds. I think the little birds really tie it all together. But yeah, all in all, I think this turned out really well. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go put them on the walls now. Thanks for watching.